But I know plenty of people that try something and then give up after two months. Yeah, it's a long, it's a long game. It's a long game, and there's no, there's no magic bullet that will get people racing unless you go down the silly freeze route. And you might run a few instructions about what's going to happen in two years' time. You know, if you haven't done your so race to the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And who wants to be there? It's a hard place. It's a hard place to be at the bottom of any industry. You know? I think I think the magic thing is you've got to be part of the community, be hyper local, mm -hmm. talk about stuff that's of interest yeah. to your potential yeah. clients, which is the local community. Yeah. We're in such a unique position as an in, in an in, as an industry yeah. that all of our business is local to us. Yeah. You know, you know what would be an absolute. Yeah, it's only come to me now as we're speaking. You know what would be. I hate the word, I hate the phrase, so you can hit me in the face if you want. Game changer. I hate that word, but this, this, this could be. Imagine an estate agent. Disruptive. disruptive. Please don't say you're going to use that. Disrupt no, I'll punch myself in the face if I say that. Um, Game changing disruptiveness. Right. Go on. Could you imagine if a local estate agent, might not work for ones that are big regional ones, they might do, said, you know what, we're going to give 10% of our turnover, of our profits, back into the community. A bit like innocent drinks. Imagine if that, and that's only just come to me, that really is something that's going to get loads of good PR. There will be an element of cynicism, I'm just working through my head now. But that's a proper game changer. Not having a new website, that ain't a proper game changer. And you only have to spend the money if you bring the money in anyway. So Exactly, and then, and then it's the gift that keeps giving, because you're doing... I bet that would motivate certain Because I know some agents that give so much back to the local oh, school. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah there's that, but you make it a policy. So it's almost your why. We're in this business, to, to sell houses, but also to contribute. Imagine you could, I don't know, you raise 10 grand and then you build a playground. I'm thinking off the top of my head here. Ah, now we're getting somewhere because you've actually got a target and you can actually say this playground was built because of you, not yeah. just a pot of money that just... Yeah, yeah. And, I, I, and from my experience with estate agents, when I first got into the industry, people would say to me, that weren't in the industry, God, you better watch yourself. When you walk in there, make sure you've got your wallet in. You know, this sort of stuff, as you're going back out of the offices sort of thing. That's never been my experience. I can count, literally count on one hand the bad times where I thought an estate agent stitched me up by taking content and not paying for it and blah, blah, blah. Most agents want to do the right thing. But the really, really good ones, they all do the right thing. You know, you think about it yourself, you would know. The ones that are at the top tier, they're not dodgy. You know, they're honest guys. I think most girls. people in this world are, are, are honest. It's just yeah. that there's always a, a few bad apples. But, but one thing I would say, if I can think of the top five that I deal with and the top five that do really well, there's lots of things they do exactly the same. They treat everyone with decency. They always pay on time. It's a funny one, that, you know. You can judge someone by how quick they pay you. Um, and they're community-based as well. So with that 10% idea that's just, just come out from our conversation, if I was an estate agent, I'd think, how am I going to really stand out from the crowd and appeal to the sort of customer I want? I'd probably go down that 10% route because that could... If, if I'm dealing with two agents and the valuation's the same, yeah? of my house, let's say we call them in for evaluation. The only differential is that I know, right, if I go with this guy, they're both very good, by the way, they're both very good. If I go with this guy, this girl, they're gonna put 10% back into the community, right? That would, uh, that would influence me. I'm not saying it would, some people wouldn't give a monkey. Wouldn't, wouldn't care, they'd be like, no, I just care about what's in my, sort of, my pocket. But yeah, yeah interesting. I, I might look into that. Well, the question is, what do you lot think? Put, put your comments below. Thank you very much, Joey. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks.